Good day, everyone. Welcome to the Yoga Show. Today we will be working on core and gluteals. So the core, of course, is not just the belly. It's the whole torso, which also does include the gluteals, but I'm separating it for you, okay, because people understand it a little bit more. Let's raise nice and tall. Ground your feet, hips width apart. Raise up nice and tall, lengthening the spine. Breathe. Mm. So today, even though it may not look like we're doing some abdominal and core work, we most certainly will be. So I hope you follow me. I hope you enjoy this practice. Take a nice forward bend, relaxing, opening your spine a little bit here, very slowly with soft knees. Just getting our back used to some movement here. Stretch and lengthen that spine. Crown of the head coming forward and release on your exhale. Sweep all the way up and take three more in succession here. Inhale up, exhale, forward bend, nice flat back. Releasing all the way down, knees can be bent. Relaxing the shoulders, stretch and lengthen here. Relax on your exhale, sweep up on your inhale, big circle, shoulders and arms opening, exhale, forward bend, relaxing down again, stretch and lengthen, and exhale, release, sweeping up again, big circle. All right, lace the fingers here and flatten the palms with the outer palms facing up and the elbows outside, the hands nice and flat at the top of your head like a nice halo and draw nice and evenly and parallel with the ground circles at the top of your head in a halo form. I want you to make these nice and round. Encourage them to be round. You're really feeling the shoulders moving here. Very round and you can increase the size if you want to. Do five or six and let's reverse. Rotate the other way. Circle the other way. Flat hands. This is really fun, actually. It's a nice way to warm up the shoulders. A little bit of chest, a little bit of neck and upper back. Two more. And relax the arms. Bring yourself to mountain pose, drawing the fingers down, breathing, feet firmly planted. Shoulders coming down, lengthening the whole spine all the way up to the crown of your head, straight up. Bring your hands to center, step out about three to four feet, toes are out, heels are in. Take a deep inhale here, shoulders are down, body is nice and upright, and exhale, come down into a nice plie, a soothing plie squat. Don't do too much here, start out nice and calm and gentle, feeling a little stretch in the inner thighs here. Draw the knees back behind you. As you rock a little bit side to side, you will find that your hips are naturally sinking down a little bit more, a little bit more, and a little bit more. We need to pull the abdominals in here, drawing that tailbone downward. You can feel the tailbone moving downward, facing the ground. Push as you inhale, push down on the feet and lift. Shake out the legs a little and we're gonna do one more, adding something to that for our calves. This is a little more challenging. Deep inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, nice, flat, firm feet. Now as you get your balance going on this, lift one heel up. Very soft and gentle so you don't get a cramp, very soft. Release it down and lift the other heel up, holding in your plie squat. And the challenge, both heels up. Focus on that spot on the ground. The abdominals in, your spine is tall. Focus on that spot, not looking around, lifting both heels up. 
Really bringing a lot of heat into the thighs here. Pull in the abs very tight. Heat coming into the core. Press the hands together. Heat coming into the shoulders, the arms. Release it down. Inhale up. Nicely done. Turn your toes forward. Take a nice wide fold. Stretch and lengthen. And sweep up. Bring your feet to center. I'm going to turn a little bit this way toward the top of the mat. You can face any way you want. Come forward to the top of the mat. Take a very gentle squat here. Bring your hands to your thighs with the elbows out. Take a nice arch as you breathe in. And an exhale, rounding the spine as you breathe out. Inhale, arching. And exhale. Inhale and arch, just warming up our spine in a standing position instead of kneeling down doing our cat and cow. Exhale, two more. Inhale and arch. Knees stay bent. We don't want to use the legs here. I'm going to keep the legs in our squat. One more. Take the heart forward, sweep up, bring your hands to your hips. Step back with your right foot for warrior one. Torso facing forward. Nice lunge with that front leg, that left leg. Lift the arms up when you feel ready. And enjoy your warrior one. Pressing the feet down firmly. Keep breathing. Open now to warrior two. Adjust this back foot a little bit if you'd like to. Taking that nice lunge. Warrior two is always a good posture, practicing posture to play with that lunge. Drawing this leg open. A lot of times people will collapse the knee inward on their warrior postures. We don't want to do that. Pulling the hands nicely out and back. Two more breaths. Look over your front fingers. Feel that strength. And bring the back arm over the top, windmill down to a lunge, and press back, back to plank pose. Nice full plank. Feet hip width apart, legs are straight, drawing the abdominals in for a nice pelvic tuck. Hold here. We're going to add something a little more challenging. Keep breathing. You're really feeling the abdominals firing up, the buttocks firing up. Secure this left foot and lift the right leg slightly, just a little bit, keeping both legs straight. Three-legged plank. Abs tight. A little vibration here. This is tough. Two more breaths. Draw this heel back. Toes facing down. Release this foot. Lower your knees, lower your elbows here. Don't rest yet, we're going into dolphin. Elbows directly under the shoulders, hands straight ahead, pressing down in the forearms. Tuck your toes, inhale, lift, press with your arms, and exhale, send it backward. Abs tight, let your head and neck relax here. Press your mat forward, sticky down the hands, the forearms, the elbows. Feel all this work in your core. This brings in intense heat. A lot of fire in the muscles here. One more press. One more breath. And lower the knees down. Take a short rest in child's pose. <laughs> that was fun. Roll yourself up. All right, this next one is going to be a bit of a challenge. Bring the hands down and rock yourself back, ending in your forward bend. And we're going to go into a dive. Relaxing and forward fold for first. So I'll do this first for you. I'll just do fast motion. And take the hands gently in front for an upward fold. Lifting the heels up. Now they don't have to be lifted all the way. Legs can be slightly bent. 
The objective is to take both hands into the dive. Now this switches your center of gravity ever so slightly. You may need to shift the hamstrings and hips back a little bit and both arms come up. So one arm is just fine. Come into your forward bend, which is where we end it. Inhale, lengthen and stretch, nice flat back. Lift the heels up, legs as straight as possible. Draw the abs in ever so tight, ever so tight. Start with one arm, diving, the palms facing in if you can. Look straight down at the ground. Don't take your eyes off that spot. See if you can get both arms up. Lifting those pinkies up to the sky, abs tight, abs tight. Pull your hips and buttocks back just a little and bring your hands back down. Lower your heels. Come back to a restful forward bend, very short. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. Soften your knees and walk all the way forward to downward facing dog. We'll take a short vinyasa here. Send it back. I am very heated. Definitely. Inhale, slide that body forward to plank. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up, exhale, send it back. Soften your knees, walk or jump all the way forward and finish in your forward fold. We're gonna get ready to do the other side, lengthen and stretch here, release down and sweep all the way up. You can stay at the front of your mat, but for the camera's sake, I'm stepping now to this side to do the other side. Bring your hands to your hips. Soften the knees slightly. Bring the left leg back for warrior one. Lunging the right knee forward. Hips stay as square as possible. Hands can remain on your hips or lift up, holding your warrior one. Pulling the abdominals in. A lot of hip work, a lot of core work, a lot of buttocks here, gluteals, chest. Adjust slightly that back foot for warrior two. If you don't need to adjust, good for you. Holding this nice warrior two. Abdominals in, taking that nice lunge. Play with this lunge. Breathe. Looking over these front fingers. <sighs> One more breath. Pressing firmly on the feet. Take that windmill down. Look at that front foot. Rotate the hips to square and press back for plank pose. Hold your plank for a couple of breaths. Get the body adjusted. Press the heels back. The legs are straight. The quads are tight. Your abdominals are in. As we lift the left foot slightly, you're on a three paw plank. Woo! Release that foot. Lower the knees. Take a short rest, child's pose. Reaching forward, tuck your toes again for dolphin. Now you can walk the feet a little bit forward if you want. Looking right about between the elbows, press the hips and hamstrings backward, hands pressing forward. You're pressing your mat away from you, away from the feet. Hold here. Press evenly with both hands. Don't favor one side. Straighten the legs. Draw your legs backward. One more breath. Lower your knees. Take a short child's pose again. Oh, rest for a moment. Roll up. That's enough resting. Tuck your toes. Send yourself back. Inhale, lift the hips and come into your forward bend. Staying down here in a forward bend. We're 
We're getting ready to do our dive again. Inhale and lengthen. Get that nice flat back. Now you can use blocks here if you want to, or you can just bend the knees. Get your fingers to the floor to get started. Legs as straight as possible. Take one arm up. Getting ready for your dive. Flat back. When you're ready, abs tight. Other arm up. I can't always do this. Today, I guess, happens to be a good day. Two more breaths here. Looking straight down for balance. Release the hands down. Release the heels down. Relax in a fold. And walk all the way forward to downward facing dog. Keep your heels down as long as you can. Oh, this is a wonderful self-challenge, this practice. Hold a downward dog a moment, please. Breathe, heels down, pressing firmly with the hands and arms. Inhale, rock that body forward. Abs tight, keep the elbows in. Exhale, Chaturanga, inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk or jump forward to your hands, relaxing in your forward bend. How are we doing? Oh, I'm working. I hope you're working with me. Inhale, lengthen. Release and exhale and sweep all the way up. Breathing in, breathing in. Tall stretch. Reach tall and bring your hands to center. Let your body settle. Keep your hips, your legs, your feet firmly centered. All right, let's take a couple of postures for our abdominals and our upper back, our buttocks. Exhale, forward bend. Have a seat now in the middle of your mat. As we go into, I'll face this way, upward plank. Bring the hands behind, legs all the way forward. Pull those legs away from the hips, hands behind. Hopefully, fingers facing forward toward the feet. If that bothers your shoulders, turn the fingers out a little bit, but we don't want them this way. Okay, so fingers facing this way. Inhale. Pull the abs in tight, elbows pulling together behind you as you lift, pointing the feet down to the floor and the hips are lifting. Feel the scapula pressing together. Feel the upper back closing here, the back of the shoulders, the rear delts pulling together. Let your head drop. Bring your chin forward slightly, lower down. Bring your knees in, pull your knees apart and gently counter stretch. Two more. Rolling up again, preparing again for upward plank. It's nice to do the upward plank and the bridge poses in threes uh, because it helps balance out um, the back work with the front work. In yoga, we use a lot of overload in the front of the body. A lot of the back work that we do sometimes in standing postures is um, pressing, working the muscles, yes, flexing the muscles, but there's not necessarily a lot of overload on the back if we're standing. So, if we're holding ourselves up with our arms and back as we are here in inclined plank or bridge or upward table, it's good to catch up and balance those upper back muscles. Inhale, pressing the feet down, lifting. Keep those elbows facing back. Pull the toes down and let your head release backwards. This is a delicious stretch for the front of the body and fabulous strengthener for the upper back, toner for the abdominals, the whole core. One more breath. Bring your chin slightly to your heart, lower your hips. 
And you can roll back into a nice hug or roll forward, rounding your spine. One more to go. Breathe. Extending the legs again, pulling them well away from the hips, hands behind, wrists directly under the shoulders. Take an inhale, pull the abs in tight, and lift. Point those toes all the way down to the ground. Lifting tall, abdominals in, shoulders drawing down to the ground and into center. One more breath, lift abs in. Draw your chin slowly to your heart, release the hips down and stretch. Bring your back to a nice round stretch. Roll up. Relax your legs a little bit. Keep your left leg bent, keeping it forward. Bring your right leg all the way behind. Now check and make sure. You can just look under this way. You don't have to turn around and strain anything. Make sure that right leg is directly behind the hip, the right hip. Opening the left knee, come into your pigeon. Rock into your pigeon a little. Make this friendly for your hips. And whenever you're ready, this foot is flexed. Slowly lower down with your elbows out and rest. You could easily take between one, three, five minutes in pigeon. I often do. But today we don't have that long. But at any time, as long as this feels good, take your nice stretch in pigeon. It helps your, your back, your low back. It helps with any um, sciatica you might be suffering or just low back tension. Roll onto your hip and just swing the legs and switch. The right knee now bending in the front. The left leg pulling backward. Left leg right behind the hip, making sure it's behind the hip and it doesn't fly outward or fly across the center of the body. Your front toes flexed gently. Rock into this until you're comfortable and go ahead and lie down. Feeling the buttocks, the low back, and the outer hips really stretching here. We just put some um, work into those muscles. So we're stretching them out, and they're forgiving us for that work in pigeon pose. <laughs> Rest and breathe. Enjoy these stretches. Continue to do stretches after any workout. The body needs the nourishment, the nurturing. It needs the relaxing. Your muscles will forgive you. On your next inhale, gently lift your torso, hands under your shoulders again, and let's pull back onto our knees. We're going to open the back a little bit further with rabbit pose. And if you'd like to, after you're in rabbit pose, you can lay, lace the fingers together and go into a nice seal stretch with the hands over the head. So we tuck the toes if you can. If not, that's OK. Just leave your feet flat. Tucking your chin all the way to your heart, grabbing onto your feet, the top of the head down. Pull your abs in deeply as the back rounds and the hips lift. Pulling on your feet a little bit. Feel that stretch in the upper back.
You can stay here, or if you'd like to, lace your fingers behind your spine. Tuck your head again, abs in tight. Take that nice roll and lift the arms up to the sky, over the head. Keep breathing. Keep the abdominals in. Bring that navel straight up to the sun. Lower the hands to the hips. Allow the shoulders to take that short break. Relax the hips down, slowly roll up. Have a seat, rest. And again, let that body settle for a moment. Feel the enjoyment and the pride in your practice. It's not too hard. That feeling just comes. That's what yoga does for you. That's what any workout does for you. But yoga adds more, because you're working so much harder with your breath and to focus really brings the mind and body together. Inhale, raise the arms up. Bring your hands to center when you're ready. I wish you a wonderful day. I thank you for practicing with me here on The Yoga Show on ACTV, and I will see you next time. Stay strong. Namaste.